Hello, welcome to Pilgrims to the Premier League episode 58, a Football Manager 2021 series here on Boston United FM. We took over Boston United in National League North with the solitary aim of reaching the top level. This is season 11 and we're now in the Premier League. Five promotions, all of which earned by winning the league. We survived our first ever season in the top tier, finishing 14th, and then followed it up with an even better finish second time around. At the end of our third season, we finished 7th. We won the FA Cup in only our second ever top flight campaign. After the disappointment of the last episode and our FA Cup final loss to Arsenal, we now move on to face Manchester City in the Europa League final. The winners not only get the trophy, but also a place in the lucrative Champions League group stage for next season. We beat City at home in October, but lost at the Etihad in March. Both clubs are in their first ever UEFA Cup slash Europa League final. For the match in the Estadio de Luz, home of Benfica, we have mixed up selection in the midfield as Ndidi, Jose and John all come into the side. Simmons gets the nod at left back. In European finals nowadays, you get to name 12 subs, so we've had to draft in a couple of youngsters to fill in the gaps. Next season will either be in the Champions League or the Europa Conference League. I know which I prefer, so we need to go out there and beat Manchester City. A lot will depend on this final. If we get through to the Champions League, we know we're going to get a hell of a lot more money than being in the Europa Conference League, so this is going to affect my summer spending. But, really, we just want to win it because we want to be Europa League champions. Little Boston United, first Europa League final. Little Manchester City, their first ever Europa League final. Who's going to win? Let's go find out. Let's pump these players up. There's a trophy on the line. Go out and show everyone that you're born winners. That's made some people motivated. Nikolic is focused. Apparently he absolutely relishes big games. He didn't at the weekend against Arsenal in the cup final. Played very poorly. But hopefully tonight is his night. Been asked about the challenge to make it our first ever Europa League win. I just think that will make it sweeter. Winning something for the first time is always the best. And it would actually be the pinnacle of our season. Hopefully we'll go out and win with style. As always now, our 4-3-3 formation. And Manchester City, they are going 4-3-3 as well. They are matching us up. But we're in Benfica, in their stadium. So let's kick off. Long throw from Jose coming up. Goes far post. It's almost made its way into the net. But it's now been cleared. Here we go again. Jose towards the goalkeeper, but he does pluck it out of the air. Gonzalez gets there ahead of Nikolic, but it's been a low kick. Goes to John. Through to Conceição, but his snapshot has just gone wide. Throw into Manchester City this time. Valverde on the end of it. He gets the ball back. Here's Viana. Some neat little pass in Van Hazel. Out to Foden. He's still with Manchester City. Through to Youssef. And he puts Manchester City 1-0 up. Very good football from Manchester City there. Passing the ball about nicely across the floor. Chipped over to Foden. Takes it past his man. Ball through to Yusuf. And he slots it into the far corner. It's 1-0 Manchester City. We get another long throw. Now it goes short this time to Ndidi. Back to Brandt. Centre half. To Simmons. The left back. Through to Nikolic. He's hit the post. Free kick in the centre circle for City. But John gets his foot in. However, City do get the ball back again. Here's Roger. 
to the left hand side with Tatalovic into Valverde. He gets his cross in, but Brandt is there to clear it. Now Nikolic picks it up. Here's John coming forward and Didi to Jose. Out to Brahim Diaz playing against another of his former clubs. Conceição, we've worked it to Pelican on the right hand side. He's into the air. He gets his cross in and we've equalised. Nikolic is on the end of it. That's really good football. That was as good a football as Manchester City's first goal. Some wonderful one-touch play. Gives it to Pelican down the right-hand side. He's got space to move into. Gets his cross in and then Nikolic is there ahead of the defender and the goalkeeper to equalise. Corner to Manchester City with Phil Foden. The header comes in, but it just clips the top of the bar by the looks of it. Highlight just before the break. We have the goal kick. Now bringing it forward through the middle of the pitch. Jose now out to Niall John on the right flank. He gets the ball across back to Ndidi. Here's Jose. We've got an overlap on the left-hand side, but we don't use it. Man City now trying to break. Roger down the left-hand side, and he's been fouled in the box. I think that's going to VAR. But I can't imagine that not being a penalty. And it's been given. Manchester City with the chance just before half time. It's Phil Foden and he scores. They're 2 1 up. Could that be the key moment of the game? I thought we were going to get in at half time level. But Foden steps up left footed past Granero. Too much power on it. And that is indeed half time. We've been playing pretty well. We've had quite a bit of goal mouth action up the other end. I think we just need to keep going. Let's pump these fists. I think if we tell them we've been the better team, we have overall. We've had better chances. Let's get these motivated players out there for the second half. Keep playing as we are and hopefully we'll get another goal. Throw into Manchester City down the right-hand side. They get a cross in and they've made it 3-1. Rodgers on the end of it. Celebrates in the corner. That could be good night, Boston United, in the Europa League final. We're not going to give up. We are only two goals behind, but it's a good cross and it's a good finish. Another long throw from Jose. No, it goes short again to Van der Poel, who's just come off the bench. Now Pelican down the right-hand side. Can he get his cross in? He gets it to Jose, and we've got one back. It's Nikolic. He's there again. He's picked up a little knock, but I'm not going to take him off. I can't afford to. The short, long throw out to Pelican. Drives into the box again. Gets his cross via Alvaro Jose. And Nikolic is there to nod home. Corner ball to City. Foden with it. Goes far post. They've hit the bar. Could this be the final highlight? Manchester City have the ball. We've gone for a 4-2-4 for the last few minutes. But City are attacking. It's Roger on the ball. It's cleared. Now here goes Alvaro Jose. He's playing slightly out of position on the right-hand side. But we do get a throw in. Is this going to be a long one? We're into the last few seconds. Get it in that area. Can we get an equaliser? It's coming in. And the keepers clung on to it. That was the chance. We do still have the ball again. John, he loses out. Here's Roger on the left-hand side. And that's the end of the game. We've lost two consecutive finals in the space of a few days. So Arsenal in the FA Cup final. And now Manchester City in the Europa League final. We drop into the Europa Conference League for next season. But City advance into the Champions League.
I thought we played really well over the 90 minutes. I'm going to tell them that, yes, they did. They gave it everything. We were pretty unlucky overall. Nikolic played really well. He took his two goals exceptionally well. But it was just unlucky in the end not to grab that equaliser. Apparently we were expected to be on the end of a hiding. We do get that quite a lot against these big clubs, but we did finish 7th in the league. Just one place and not very many points behind Manchester City themselves. They've had a poor season by their standards. So then we did work hard as a team. It was pretty damaging to concede just on half-time. That penalty, that probably was the key moment of the game. Nikolic, he was injured during that second half, but it was only a tight hamstring. He'd be out for two or three days, but then again, we don't play any more games for quite a few weeks now. Get just over £4 million in prize money for losing in that final. And that is the end of the season. A disappointing end, losing two of the last three Premier League games and then losing to both Arsenal and Manchester City in cup finals. The league table still has us down as a Europa Conference League team for next year, but it has that as well for Manchester City. But they should be moving up into the Champions League as a result of the Europa League win. Some extra consolations as Francisco Conceição, he was given Europa League Player of the Season, just ahead of Phil Foden. And Milorad Nikolic actually became top goal scorer in the Europa League with those two goals in the final. Ahead of Victor Yusuf, who also scored in the final, but he managed to get a winner's medal. Centre-back Daniel Ballard, who we signed from Brentford last summer, he got in the Europa League Team of the Year. An interesting formation going for a 3-4-3. But the board expectations have come through and we are going to be in the Europa Conference League next season. We're going to be expected to reach the semi-finals. However, in the league, we are still only going to be expected to avoid relegation. We spent well over £100 million on the squad last summer. Despite the expectation of avoiding relegation, and it could well be that we do it again. I've not had the budgets through just yet in terms of transfer budgets and wage budgets, but there's no doubt it should be quite hefty. We did get some decent TV money at the end from the Europa League and also some decent prize money in the Premier League. But now it's my job to go through the summer, do some transfers in, do some transfers out. There's quite a few players that haven't really impressed. Some players have come in and been absolutely fantastic. We've got a really good goalkeeper. We've got a really good striker, a decent centre-half pairing and a pretty good midfield. Alvaro Jose with those long throws and his marauding runs from midfield. They're always a danger for the opposition. Let's see what we come up with next year. If you've enjoyed the content of this episode, please don't forget to leave a like. And for more videos, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.